there are many environmental changes that can impact our source water quality. This video will describe the benefits of prescribed fire, which reduces the risk of severe wildfire and at the same time improve drinking water quality. First, let's look at the cause of a wildfire. The risk of wildfire is high for those areas experience prolonged drought. Under hot and dry weather in summer, dried filaria litter and detritus layer in the forest floor can be easily ignited, resulting in a severe wildfire. The thicker of the detritus layer in the forest floor is, the greater risk of a wildfire. It is analogous to fire lighters and barbecue grill. It is hard to light up the grill with just logs, but after adding fire lighters, the fire can be easily ignited. In forestry, Filaria litter and detritus materials are considered to use in a forest fire. Filaria litter is also a substrate, leaching out brownish colored dissolved organic carbon during rainstorms. Not only tea color like water can have odor and taste problems, it can increase difficulty in water treatment, including forming carcinogenic disinfection pipe products during drinking water disinfection. It is analogous to tea bags in your cup. Your water turns darker if more tea bag is used. In water treatment facility, more tea colored like dissolved organic carbon and water requires more chemicals to treat water, potentially resulting in a higher level of carcinogenic disinfection by product and finished water. Now we know filaria litter and detritus layer are the cause of wildfire and dissolved organic matter in source water. If we can reduce the detritus layer in forest floor, can we reduce the risk of wildfire and at the same time, obtained a better drinking water quality? Scientists from Clemson University submitted research proposals to test this hypothesis and examine effects of different fuel reduction techniques on source water quality. They got support from government agencies to conduct research studies. In the first study, the Clemson team collaborated with South Carolina Department of Natural Resources to conduct plus-scale burn in Tom Yaquie Wildlife Center in Georgetown, South Carolina. Before and after fire treatment, we collected the biomass ash on the forest floor and were placed into custom-made aluminum trays. The bottom of each trays were connected to a glass carbon for water collection. The trays were placed in an open field for a year. After each rain event, water were collected for chemical analysis. Water collected from the unburned areas were generally darker colored than the burned areas. To further fortify the effect of prescribed fire on water quality, Clemson scientists collaborated with United States Forest Service to conduct a watershed scale investigation. A paired watershed at the Francis Marion National Forest in South Carolina were tested. The watershed 80 is a control and a managed watershed. The watershed 77 is a managed watershed and has been prescribed burn in two to four year cycles. Each watershed was about 150 hectare. Aerial ignition was used to burn the entire watershed. A ping pong size bomb was dropped from the helicopter. In the outflow of each watershed, there was a water gauging station. A V-notch wear is used to quantify water flow. An in-situ dissolved organic carbon sensor was used to measure DOC concentration. Water samples were also collected using auto samplers. Samples were delivered to the laboratory for chemical analysis. Scientists first filtered the water to remove particles and then quantified DOC concentration using combustion catalytic oxidization method at 680 Celsius. A subset of water samples was tested for disinfection by product formation potential by adding chlorine. DBPs were extracted using organic solvent and then injected into GCMS. Then the results of the study have been published in a professional journal. Water in burn watershed was lighter colored, containing less tea color like dissolved organic carbon in water. Results supported our hypothesis and matched the tray studies. Next, chlorine was added as a disinfection to eliminate pathogens and bacteria. Chlorine reacted with dissolved organic carbon in water to form a variety of disinfection byproducts. Trilamphane and halicidic acid were found in the chlorinic water. Because less DOC was in burned watershed, less trilamphane and halicidic acid were found in water from burned watershed. Considering three scenarios in a forest watershed, 
In case 1, the thick layer of detritus layer in an unmanaged forest ignites a high severe forest fire. Water from this watershed could have a high level of suspend solid. Water is not suitable for drinking water use. In the long run, the chemistry of water from the severe burn watershed is changed. In case 2, an unmanaged forest has a thick layer of detritus layer. Water from this watershed could have a higher level of tea color like dissolved organic carbon. Water utilities will need to add more chemicals to remove them and may result in a higher level of carcinogenic DPPs in drinking water. In case 3, a managed forest with a thinner layer of detritus layer. It has less risk to generate a high intensity forest fire. Water from this watershed has a low level of tea color like dissolved organic carbon. Water utilities will need less chemicals to treat this water and result less DBP formation in drinking water.